What's up, guys? This is the Braveman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Portugal. And in this episode, uh, the Venetians uh, wish to do battle with their paltry swarm of chaff troops. Let's blow them to pieces. We're probably going to uh, run into ammunition problems more than they, more than we're uh, at any real risk of losing the battle but we'll push them back and then we will capture venice and destroy them for good and then we've got a whole bunch of troops deployed near athens ready to push north through the balkans and just really cause a whole lot of trouble for the austrian empire actually to be honest i think we're going to be able to push them on all flanks so soon they will be dealt with and then we can redeploy our armies after destroying austria north towards saxony and we've also got Sweden and Savoy, but those are all well in hand. And Genoa still exists on their little island. They will all be dealt with in due course, but first, let's knock out Venice. Interesting deployment. That's really weird. Because we're all deployed facing that way, but actually we can go up here. And secure the hill, which I want to do. So I want to pull one gun team up to here. One gun team. Whoop, no, 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 just the one. One gun team up here, so we can use this terrain to block for any frontal charges. And one gun team on over here. It's going to be a bit close, and I'm not quite sure where I want everyone to be, so I'm going to break my army up and into a uh, number of chunks and see what things are like after I try to place them. The artillery is going, my howitzer is going to be firing from back here off the bat. My cavalry is going to hold back as a reserve. Okay. So we've got reinforcements coming in from all sorts of directions. Let's get deployed. Be sure I can get two between here. Yeah. So the enemy force is deployed all on the right. Good. This is actually quite a good defensive position. Let's divvy up the cavalry a little bit more. Yeah, provincial cav, general's bodyguard. Lots of people are on the move. Let's keep my how it's is targeting their infantry blocks. The cavalry we're not going to directly be able to stop, but once our guns are in position, we're going to be able to do good things. Send in my... Well, actually, the provincial cavalry might not last. They've broken... Once my artillery gets into position, we're going to do some real good work against the enemy artillery. They're not charging. The round shots coming in. Oh, the quick lamps coming in, I should say. I mean, I think you're going to break yourself trying to charge my line. Yep. Guns can make ready with shrapnel shot. Here's the terrain is not really ideal here. I want to be more up here. And limber with shrapnel shot. Redeploy or retarget the howitzers against the upcoming threat. Push my cavalry in, we've got some generals to take care of. 
we can knock out the provincial cav rapidly, that'd be ideal, but it's not gonna be a problem. You guys fire it will off. You blast that unit. You hold fire because you want to kill your own. Well, that's where some of the reinforcements are coming in from. Maybe let's bring a Curacia unit over onto the right. seen any fresh reinforcements come in on the left. Focus on the provincial cav with shrapnel. Oh, it says engage the militia in case they try and help out. Bring over the cuirassier. These guys must have been killed by secondary effects misses from a shrapnel shot. Excellent, excellent. Superb fire. Maybe you guys switch to round shot and engage. You have conscripts for now. Excellent. Pull the cavalry back. Let this infantry open fire. Yeah, they're gunning down that unit of militia. Okay, round shot that gun team. This gun, round shot, the cavalry unit. Is there no one else coming in from over here? Because if so, I'm going to limber up my guns and deploy them like this so they can contribute to the fire over there. as we target, although they might be a bit close actually. Get the quick blaming to engage the conscripts because that can be quite badly wrong. Okay, there we go. Now all the enemy are coming in from the other direction. Yeah, stay limbered up where you are. And it's a shot on the 14th. They're a little bit closer. Knocked a few off. Can you try shrapnel that provincial curve? Yep, the enemy. Uh, they're in terrible, terrible shape. Brave men, the 11th. Foolhardy. However... Okay, they killed some. These gunners will have a good angle. Yeah. Let's cut some down with grape shot. Canister shot. Seen them off. Blast that one poor unit of militia. Actually, blast that unit of cavalry. Not sure how 
helmets and they're lobbing in shots at the right targets. You can keep sending more men in, but they're just gonna they're just gonna be fed with a meat grinder. Yeah, they've had enough, although they they will may come back. Oh god, that was a brutal shrapnel here. Ritirata. There goes the cavalry. See, the provincial cav's just not that good. Actually, no, keep firing it. Keep firing all my artillery at long range or longer range. These will be. These guys will be shot to pieces by musketry, although I could position my troops a bit more smartly. I could push up and take this high ground. I mean, I'm not pursuing because we don't really have to. The enemy is in terrible shape. There we go. They're advancing in column. Quick Lem saw them off. dropping oh god just keep just start attack grounding right here and just keep hitting them so don't mind if we get into a melee fight if i can take this high ground i'll fire down into the uh, the valley from where they're pushing from Fire still eviscerating them. There we go. We've seen off the enemy. Push my men up like so. There we go. Now they're bringing in another force. Beautiful. coming they're going to be hit by musket fire immediately then that will be them done it is artillery fire is opening up you men could do with really being a bit further up but you're not going to move these two artillery batteries are just pounding the bejesus out of Tree. Artillery man, it's dangerous. Bombard, bombard. You man, bombard. Aim at the closest threats first. You can aim at the 21st. They're going to push in and be killed by musket fire. You target the quick climb. I know I could be a lot more aggressive in my cavalry, but what's the damn point? We're doing super well just by letting them come at us. Pivot you guys back. Actually, don't. Don't uh, shoot at them explicitly. Switch to round shot and bombard the conscripts. There we go. Wow. 
That's just a real killing field now. You may just put some volleys into the artillery team. Killed some of the crew, they're already upset. Then aim at 45th. Just keep on, just, just kill them. Okay, now you guys can switch shrapnel shot, they are well within range. They're starting to go after my cavalry. Okay, come back, draw them towards our line. Quick line will deal with these fellas. You men push down the hill into the stink of bodies and death. on into the 47th. Let's see, no one else is coming in, so I think those armies are destroyed. Just out of range, round shot one, and it's the quick climb the other. My infantry is just feeling a little bit left out. There you go, the new men stand up at him. Come the wallies. enough for them. Well, you guys may as well commit. This artillery cease fire. How it's uh, switched to round shot, bombard. Troops coming in. shot in so yep, they're still coming streaming away okay now let's get a bit more aggressive push down off the hill Getting yourselves trapped mildly nicely. We are not long for this world, I believe. Okay, folks on the enemies coming in, not the ones that are already gonna get smashed. Yeah, they were never gonna last very long. It appears that's the last of it. Yep, no more reinforcements coming in. As is tradition, they've decided, oh, but your cavalry looks your cavalry is what we want to go after. We'll go after them instead. And I think, you know what? Try it. There's no nothing to fear here. Bombardment! Bombardment! 
Boom artillery around, shot the 27th. Blinker like cavalrymen, getting a single soul with that volley. They're just going to break and run. Tasty. See you later, Venice. Nice. Decisive victory. Always what you want to see. So let's see how that's caused the balance shift on the campaign map. They still only lost half of their force, but they're all going to fall back. <laughs> they want me to pay them nearly a million gold and become my protectorate. No, screw you, Venice. You're... Your days, your time is over, sunny boy. Saxony is. I mean, we have to start. Well, this is why I want to deal with Austria first, and I can I can surround Saxony's borders with my um, Austrian armies, and then jump on them. But I want to kill Sweden, and then Saxony and uh, Genoa first. I want Saxony to be the last. They are my child. I want to give them the honour. Ooh, sheet-led cartridges. That is everything possible researched. So, see you later, Evora. We do not need university. There is nothing more worth knowing. Okay, cannon foundry. Steamper mines in Syria. I mean, I know this is all kind of moot, doing all this sort of investment, but... I have a pathological hatred of seeing those hammers on the map. It can be upgraded. I want to upgrade it. Let's get you over here. Okay. There we go. Two mad Anatolia. So let's upgrade the church schools because we want you to become good Catholics. We're going to put two armies on the Syrian, on the Palestinian border. You guys come south, punt the uh, Austrians out of the port. Because these armies will be deployed elsewhere. Let's send this navy in just to smash. Smash this navy. Yep, and smash it we shall. Get back into Limassol. For repairs. Okay, carry on building. Lots of good building work, including Jesuit colleges, because you've got a lot of potential for religious unrest, so it makes sense to just tamp that down while we can. Uh, yeah, it's lots of recruitment here. Seems to have stopped in India, which, to be honest, is pretty fine. You're going to there, you're going to there. You're probably going to this guy, Artur de Albuquerque. Let's do that. You guys go to there. Letter of demands for Württemberg. Peace out, Württemberg. You don't know anything now. We've got rid of your university. That's fine. Let's see if we can actually move them out. Minus two. Theoretically, yes. Actually, practically, yes, because this is just a garrison. Move out to Württemberg. Strasbourg is fine. Okay, craft workshop some of this stuff in Munich and the roads. You go spy on Prague. You're going to go for Prague. Can you push out of... It doesn't look like you can move out of Munich. They're already amber. So let's move this army up. Take position on the front line. The infantry is the Venice garrison. You're still just blocking them from pushing out against us. Let's just break that. Actually, garrison, just garrison Trieste. That's fine. 
Right, 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 right. Recruitment. Don't worry about it. Wurttemberg on strike. Bavaria. I mean, we got rid of university, so they're also chill. Yeah, good. You'll figure it out. You like us, really. Okay, so let's get some... Yeah, we are recruiting ships here, which is good. Um, we are going to fight the Battle of Istanbul. First, let's... So, this is going to be quite decisive because we're going to use you to garrison Vienna. Which brings in hung Hungary garrison and this, this army down here. If you go to Hungary, you can block them off. And then you can come here and say, well, you know what, Austria? If you want to try and raid, that's fine. You can actually bring the Warsaw garrison down to this bridge. So if they try and go this way, we'll intercept them. And if they go west, we'll intercept them. That's pretty good. Our navy's in tip-top condition. We're ready to jump on Sweden when that all kicks off. Upgrade Heracleon, why not? Upgrade the Athens buildings. So, this army has earned the right to take the city. Brings in lots of reinforcements, but they're all quite depleted. We will send, I mean, we strictly speaking, we don't really have to, but we're going to send one army in for reinforcement. This army is going to. Ooh, let's do, we can do that. You are going to evict this... Actually, before we do that... You're going to shoot for Sarajevo. Sure, our roads are being upgraded. Can you leave Athens? You can leave Athens. You're going to shoot for Belgrade. You're going to go to Klausenberg, but not make it. You're going to go here. Just to act as a bit of a blocker for any troops that come out from Istanbul. To be honest, let's just set the battles up. So who's the more... You're the more interesting unit because you've got rockets. Ooh, you can't reach. Get you out of the way. There we go. Brings in both the reinforcing armies. Okay, first... No, actually they are. So I, want, I wanted to push them out. <laughs> And then fight an aerial battle, but apparently I moved them in such a way that they lost all their movement points. Oh well. So Alvaro Grande, let's take Patras from the Venetian Skir. Take the city. These guys can reinforce. And they, to, to be honest, well, one of them might get involved fighting Genoa, the other may. Well, actually, the army that's probably not going to get involved, <laughs> the reinforcing army that's there at the minute. They will probably go north towards the Austrian front, but the battles will likely be over before they get there, so they'll go just straight on towards the Saxon front. Deploy a mighty... well, I say that. Deploy one battery of guns. Let's give them two infantry units on either side. For protection. Let's drop our howitzers down. Let's create two sections of three infantry units. He's got lots of reinforcements coming in. We may as well just not deploy the wings, deploy them afterwards. Although it looks like a lot of them are just coming in directly behind the current army, which is perfect. Send the company cavalry forward to engage the artillery. We're engaging them with our artillery, but just in case it takes a little bit long. Oh, and up here as well. Get all military to focus on the garrison line. Yeah, 
Can you how it says just start bombarding? We'll be able to get to the mortars before they can try and defend them, so that'll be pretty slick. Ram harder, Jenkins! Ram harder! <laughs> You're too late. I mean, they're shattered, so that's fine. Recall the cavalry. You guys are winded because you're heavy cavalry. You will get there. The general's having enough. He's had enough as well. He's got hard going. You idiots. You're going to run straight into my line. Kill them. Kill them all. Enemy cavalry deploying on the left. Actually, they've got enemy infantry coming in a bit. A bit further to the left than I thought. Native Indian Cavalry pursue the 11th. Cuirassier push up towards the 10th. There we go. Destroy the field artillery. The general has had enough of this embarrassment. He's been shot off his horse, heroically charging our line. Let's get out of here, fellas. Fellas. Intercept the 10th. You fire a little off. Now it's time for the howitzers to drop. Quick climb. Oh no no, that's cavalry. Stay where you are. Missed it, so they're gonna be firing at will. A lot of good hits. Colonial holdings are done. You have no empire. Cover the cavalry. Get your breath back. So many friends. Not enough of them, sadly. Blast them. Shattered. Broken. Good hits by Hakan citizenry, they're already considering. Ooh. Yep, they they have decided this is a bad idea. Ground sharp. I mean, if you were them marching to this and just saw the entire Portuguese army set up and just annihilating your comrades. You know what? Bad idea. This this is not good. Mm, the second to push it up, though. They got a volley off. Very good. I mean, we're just going to be... This is just going to... They are doomed. Yeah, 
you're getting volleys fired upon you. You don't have fire by rank, so your firepower is just a fraction of what it could be. These guys are routing, probably they've made it to the line. Oh, God. I mean, it's beautiful, because they're shattering before they get anywhere close to us. But on the other hand, you can't help but feel a little bit bad for them. Switch to round shot for the howitzers, otherwise they'll never get a look in. Hold all the QRC air up. Concerned, then the small arms fire. That'll happen. In war. For sure. That's right, you guys. You better reform your lines. Things could go wrong otherwise. I have to end up destroying this city if they don't actually route correctly. Take out the 3rd Regiment. Don't think there's any danger of anyone else coming in from the right. There we go, they're shattered. Don't bother about them anymore. Beautiful carnage. Because the enemy does not want to push us. So let's crank up speed a little bit. Because it's just all these poor Venetian fragments. This is what you get for demanding 780,000 gold. I am not going to give it to you. Yeah. They are, they are making it to our lines. I'm not staying around for very long, but that's that's for fair enough. You were shooting at a unit that was ordered not to shoot back. That was great effort. <laughs> Bad idea. Constant stream of units running away from the battlefield. Foolish. Foolish fellows. But I wonder how many of these will come back. Yeah, you didn't make it. <laughs> you didn't make it. Just gun them down. General's bodyguards had enough for someone. It's gonna go the same way. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> it's channel shot, I guess. I mean highly mechanized battles like this. I'm sorry, it's not super fun, but it's, it'll just take forever otherwise if I don't if I don't uh I had a little bit of speed. Oh, now this cavalry's coming in. Men. Make ready. Freeze it. Fire. Just nine of the number ten. No. Nope. They've had enough. It's a god alive. This is where the mechanic for reinforcements can just be a little bit not very useful. Oh, they're still coming. They are still coming in. Yeah, this is just just carnage. You know what? Just let them throw themselves upon us. Poor fools won't have any hope of achieving victory. Yep, not even making it to the lines. Blast them, blast them. I 
P. The 39th Regiment's made it. With a couple of volleys. Yeah, a couple of volleys did it. This is what happens when you try and de when you declare war on. Actually, did they, did they declare war on us? We might have declared war on them. Either way, you should have. You should have made a more lucrative offer to stop us from trying to kill you. Yeah, that was not great, but still, it's another faction destroyed. We only lost a hundred men doing it as well. I don't think they got involved. That last army never got involved. Dear, oh dear. Build up the town. You men push forward. So the town's here. One turn. And Pylos, the port, is going to grow. Pylos, Pylos, one or other. Coaching in, all that stuff is fine. Right, let's do a more fun battle. Let's attack Istanbul. They got a small amount of reinforcements, which hopefully, hopefully, will die, and then our follow-up armies can push through the city, on towards Bulgaria and head northwest. To be honest, the armies in the, that are currently in modern-day Syria, they may actually just embark on an invasion of Cairo to uh, bring death and destruction to Savoy. Because that needs to happen as well. Question is though, will do, I probably wouldn't want to call Saxony in. So if I call Saxony in, that, they might use that as an opportunity to betray me. The devils they are. Okay, terrible direction to attack from. Not so terrible direction to attack from. Heavy Horse Guard Artillery is going to do a real number on them. Rockets are just going to be fun. Heavy Horse Howitzer and regular howitzers. It's just going to be a good battle. Good, 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 good. Okay. And engage the wall. Oh, try drop some shots in the centre if I've if I've not missed it. Because look at all these guys. Here they come the quick line. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Fill in the gaps, guys. You don't want to look stupid. The <laughs> fourth square. So many dead. Lots of elite units. Swiss Grenadiers, they lost 130 of those. That's the rockets coming in. A little bit premature, but just start pushing guys up. Actually, no, you guys may as well be over here. We may get some friendly fire as we push through our artillery. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Yeah, I managed to managed to handle it. Artillery. Hey, one of the guns got shot from the town. Quickline, stop attacking the sensor with quickline. Or at least with one of my units. Just give my heavy horse artillery and start focusing on something else. Okay, we're going to make one mighty breach. We're just going to make lots of breaches. Hey, they've pushed their engineers out to deploy that. That's good. We can't really accept them either. They, they will deploy states. That's not bad, actually. That's, that's, yeah. It will impact our movement with the, with cavalry, that's for sure. What do you think? They spread out so far. They've covered the entire front. So we can't directly charge in. We have to maneuver around. Which is what we were going to kind of do anyway. 
that's still pretty good. Come on, man, knock out that blank. The rockets are going after them. They occupied the house. Oh, they have. Round shot the house, how it says. Let's see if we can knock them down. It appears, though, these guys have decided they don't really know what to do afterwards. So, guns work on the next breach. Got a bunch on the walls. I mean, these are our. Oh, make sure the rockets aren't automatically firing. I mean, we've got our own engineers and our own. Why are my grenadiers not? Square. Hell, the cavalry charge. Excellent. The enemy is. coming out to play. Place states. Rocket artillery. Fire at will. Infantry. Warm up. Because they are pushing out. Artillery, engage this area. Prevent them from pushing out of the gate. And try storm the walls over here. Bring our heavy cavalry over here. We need that quick climb. Artillery's doing well. Reload. Who's that? Grenadier guards are routed. Quick climb's coming in a bit late. Still going to be useful. The grenadiers are routing. Care for another one. Get my cavalry over here to make sure they don't come back. Yeah, see, they're already, some of them are already coming back. Form a more traditional line. Let's not go crazy chasing after them with cavalry. Sees fire. New men secure the gate. Okay, get some of our artillery to engage the enemy reinforcements as they come in. We should be winning against the Biolock Armed Citizenry. They are good, though they're not terrible in the defence, I should say. Lance of Guards. All ranks. Get ready to respond. Enemy general's been shot off of his horse. More I mean, 
we should capture the gate. They're going to try and shooting us at point blank range. You men, engage. Just charge the gate. them lamp sharpshooters go after the horse artillery light infantry secure some of the walls curious the air and then knock out the light infantry she engage the grenadier guards then we might be able to wrap up our or re re uh, initiate our blockade of the breach. Sixty-seven Curacier. There we go. Keep killing them. They're shattered. Get them involved. Line infantry. Get involved. You men. Let's re-angle my marines. How it's is going to work on the militia in the centre. You've killed their generals, sir. I just want these guys to get up on the wall and start shooting. Or start engaging the garrison militia. Same as the light infantry, really. Although one of you engage the armed citizenry, the other get off the wall and start firing. So who's here? Grenadiers. Both my cavalry should knock out the Grenadier Guards. Well, they put stakes out behind as well. It's not bad. Okay, rocket artillery ceasefire. Hey, we can just run in, but I want to uh, see these guys get involved. Still engaging. Oh, the foot guards are after us. Maybe you men engage the militia. The officer took a pot shot with his pistol as well. Alright, you men engage the guards. Lancer guards charge the militia. Howitzers cease fire. Send in the marines. You men form up behind. Secured all of the entrances. Which new men go over here? Okay, stand in the square, you fellows. Send in engineers. Send in grenadier guards as well. Line infantry. Here. There we go. Nice. That was quite fun. Excellent. Istanbul is ours. And there's nothing the enemy can do. Hopefully those two other armies have been destroyed. They have been. 
So if I move my army out, you need to move men past Istanbul, you have to run them in, then through. And you guys go in. You men coordinate a peaceful transfer of power. Get rid of the college. Upgrade theatre. Upgrade all the farms, because we are benevolent. You men push to Sophia. You men push up to here. Excellent. Roads. Upgrade the roads. Nice. And we've got fights over here at Hungary. And Vienna. Well, let's do Hungary first, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of two of Austria's greatest cities. Cheers, everyone.